845, Miss Christina here. It's summer and that means school's out. And we have in-person VBS happening in just a few weeks. It also means we have a new theme and memory verse. This month is press play, get in the mix. The connection between confidence and God's character as shown through God's big story. When it comes to confidence, we might try and base it on what we do well or what a teacher or parent might say about us. But true confidence should be built on something that lasts forever. We think that's found in understanding how God sees us. God created us and God loves us. Nowhere is this more evident than in the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus. And when you put your confidence in Jesus, you can truly see yourself how God sees you. As you may have noticed, we will be learning about confidence, learning to see yourself as God sees you. What could you be more confident about? What are you already confident about? Tell your family. Enjoy this week's lesson and we will see you after. What gives you confidence to face your day? Lots of practice? A good night's sleep? Oh, one of Dad's famous breakfasts? A sunshiny day? Brand new shoes? All of these things are great, and they can sure give you a lift. But what happens when you twist your ankle, can't sleep, the pancakes burn, the storm clouds gather, and you get mud on those new kicks. Suddenly, you don't feel so up anymore. It's tough to face your day. You feel downright deflated. But there's a kind of confidence that can't be washed away in a rainstorm. Because what God sees when he looks at you never changes. In God's eyes, you are chosen, accepted, valuable, created for a purpose, loved beyond your wildest imagination. And when you learn to see yourself the way God does, you can face anything. Because God's view of you will never change to the end of time and beyond. When you have confidence to get in the mix, others can see God at work in you. That's why confidence is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud. My check. One, two, one, two. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Y'all ready? Yeah. Press play! Oh. We know we belong here because of your love for us that goes on and on forever. Jesus, we know you are with us wherever we go. You're there, we'll always be together. So sing along with me for all the joy he brings. It's going down. Get in the mix. We're not stopping. Get in the mix. Say, it's time to press play. Get 
I just, I just thought we could use a little more cowbell. Two, three, four! <laughs> Everybody, I'm John. And I'm Brandon, oh. and you're watching The So-and-So Show. Brandon, if you could pick one word to describe how you're feeling today, what would it be? Uh, I don't know, feelings are multi-layered and you don't only feel one way at a time. That was 16 words. Okay. I'm feeling confident. Oh yeah? Yeah, it's a great day, Brandon. I, I feel so extremely, unreservedly, unstoppably confident. That is a lot of confidence. You bet, I feel like I can do anything. Anything? Anything. Recite the alphabet backwards. Z Y X W V U T S R Q P O N M L K J I H G F E D C B N A. Wow! <laughs> you can do anything. I'm just getting warmed up. <laughs> you know, I'm just going to pull this idea out of the air. I feel like I could sing any traditional song in any style you throw at me. Oh, good. Because it's time to play the Wheel of Singing Songs in different ways than you might normally sing them. What? The Wheel of Singing Songs in different ways than you might normally sing them. Yes. So for this game, we'll take turns spinning a wheel to discover our song. And then Brandon will randomly select a song style using his 1997 Casio and, keyboard. And we will have to sing the song in the selected song style. Woohoo! Let's do it. You go first. Oh, no. You should go no, first. No, I insist. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh! Twinkle, twinkle, little star in the style of... 90s pop. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are up above the world. So high like a diamond in the sky. What? Wow, that was... 
this is fantastic. <laughs> thank you. Dance thank you. moves and yeah, I yeah, should have yeah. gone first. I can't sing. Sure you can. Come on, come on. All right, turn. here we go. Spin it. <laughs> oh, happy birthday! Yeah. In the style of country. Hey. Hey. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Yahoo! <laughs> All right. Thank you. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> Joy to the world in the style of heavy metal. Joy to the world, the Lord has come! Let us receive her king! Okay, no, no, that's, 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 that's enough of that. That's. Oh. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna spin now. Ready? All right. Ah! Ah! Ooh. If you're happy and you know it, in the style of. Jazz blues. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands, yeah. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Nicely done. Hey, let's do one more. Yeah, a little duet. A little duet, Wee. yeah. Boom! Little bunny foo foo in the style of hip hop. Little bunny foo foo hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice and bobbing them on the head. Down keep the good fairy. The good fairy said, "Little bunny foo foo, I don't want to see you scooping up the field mice and bobbing them on the head." What? Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Confidence of yours is contagious. Yeah, yeah, was it was. Crazy. It was. It was pretty awesome. You know what else is awesome? What? My jazz singing. No. Oh, it's Bible story time with Kellen. Yeah. Hey guys. Hey Kellen. What do you have for us? Well, today we're going to talk about one of the most famous verses in the Bible. John 3.16. Awesome. Hey, go for it. There are a lot of verses in the Bible, like a lot. There are so many different stories in the Bible about God's relationship with people, how he created us, loves us, and takes care of us. Sometimes looking at all these verses and trying to learn everything there is to know about God can feel a little overwhelming. But this one verse in the book of John is so epic and so simple all at once, it sums up a lot of what the other verses are saying. Here it is. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, and whoever believes in him will not die, but will have eternal life. That's amazing news. Now, let's back up a little to see the full picture. Check this out. God created the entire universe, so many galaxies, and stars, and planets. And out of all these galaxies, stars, and planets, God so loved the world. God loves the world so much. He loves us so much. He sees every detail of the earth. He loves every person from every country, no matter the way people look or talk or dress or live. God loves them. From the very beginning, God so loved them. Did you catch that? God loved. God loved the world even though there were times when people were selfish or unkind. Like in the very beginning when Adam and Eve first broke God's rule. Broken rules caused people to have a broken relationship with God. So what did God do? God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. God loved, so God gave. Jesus came to earth to spread God's love 
to forgive us when we disobey God, and to heal our broken relationship with God. He came to give up his life, to pay a price that we could never pay on our own. God so loved the world, God loved, that he gave his one and only son, God gave. Anyone who believes in him, don't miss that, whoever believes, anyone can believe in Jesus, your family, your friends, the people who deliver your packages to your home, the people who even pass out the samples at the grocery store, anyone, even you. And God wants to have a relationship with you. He wants to hear from you. He wants you to put your trust in Him. And that relationship is ready and available to you when you believe. But that's not all. God loved, so God gave. Whoever believes will not die, but will have eternal life. Whoever believes lives forever. When you believe in Jesus, your relationship with him won't end here on earth. It will last forever. Just think about how big forever is. Forever lasts forever. That's as big as the universe. One more time. God loved, so God gave. Whoever believes lives forever. That is the good news right there. Back to you guys. Wow, that, that's one huge verse. Totally, God sent Jesus as a gift. That's insane. A gift we don't even deserve. Exactly, and, and we can't do anything to earn a love that big. It had to be a gift. How's your confidence level now, John? Oh, it's through the roof. Yeah. Uh, I always need to be reminded how much God loves me and what Jesus did for me. Me too, I, you know, I think we could all use that reminder, so reveal the question. Yeah. Ah. Uh. How does Jesus matter in your life? Great question. Yeah. I mean, he matters in the big, huge ways we just talked about, healing our relationship with God and, and giving us life. And there, there are other ways he can matter to you. Yeah, like uh, giving you confidence when you feel afraid. Yeah, uh, or, or, or giving you wisdom and help when you're making a hard decision. Or simply being a friend at, when you feel lonely. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. There are lots of ways Jesus works in our everyday lives. So talk about it together. And we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. Yes, we will. Yay! Dan dance funk. Dance funk. You want to do this one together? Camp Town Ladies, I don't know. Camp Town Ladies, sing the song, do da, do da. Uh. Camp Town Ladies, sing, sing this song, do da, da, do da, da. Camp Town Ladies, five times long. long. Oh, the do da day, day, day. day. Gonna run all night. Come on, come on. Gonna run all day. Hey, hey. I bet my something on the something else. Something, something. On the bed. Hey, whoa. <laughs> I don't know I what I'm that doing. Was, that was perfect. That was perfect. <laughs> I don't know. You want more? No. Can we use no. some of that? <laughs>